Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. In the last session, we discussed how to append a node in a double linked list. So, now in this session, we will see how to add a node at the beginning of the list and how to find the length of double linked list and how to display all the elements in the double linked list. All the three we will see. So, first one, how to add a node in the beginning of the list. Second one, how to find the length of the double linked list and how to display all the elements in the double linked list. See, suppose some of the nodes I am taking, this is one, this is a second node, this is a third node. Already list is having some of the nodes. Suppose here it is a 3000, this node address is a 2000, this node address is a 1000. Root variable always pointing to first node. pointing to first node and next the data we are taking 10 first node left link is a null and right link is a next node is there so 2000 we are storing here and previous node address 1000 we are storing here data is a 20 and next node address 3000 here previous node address 2000 here data is a 30 so two links are there and now here it is a last node right link will be null. So, this is a structure of a double linked list. Now, concept is how to add a node at the beginning add add at begin any function you can write to understand easily I am writing void. Suppose if they call this function add at begin added begin and here uh, we are writing because we need to create node also. So, here we are writing void add at begin. If they call first we have to create the node. We know that all the operations in the list we need to perform with the help of a temporary variable only temporary variable. So, first we are declaring a variable struct node star temp variable we are creating. So, temp gets memory allocation. Now, we need to allocate the memory. Sir, how to allocate the memory with the help of a malloc function? We know that. So, temp equals to here it is struct node star typecasting malloc function and it is taking size of struct node size of struct node this is calling we know this so many times we have discussed. So, here what it will do it will create a node it will create a node at a particular location suppose location is a 4000. So, that will be stored into temporary variable. So, temporarily this variable pointing to this one and next one. So, we need to read the node data right here we need to store the data and here it is a left link is a null and a right link is a null. Suppose here we are asking printf enter node data enter node data next one scanf scanf here it is percentage d how to read the information into this location this location address we need to provide. Suppose this is a data location consider data temp to data address that is a location address. So, here temp to data address we are providing temp to data address we are providing. So, this is next temp to left link is a null into the temp, temp to left link we are storing null value and into temp to right link also we are storing the null value temp to right link is also null temp to left is equals to null and temp to right equals to null. So, here it is a node is a here null and here also null. 
So, as of now, node is ready. Suppose node data is a 40, node is ready. Now, connections very, very important. So, we need to establish a three connections. So, what are the three connections observed? Suppose, if it is a first node, means what list is not having any node. So, what you have created is a first node consider. So, by that time, so directly root should pointing to the newly created node that is very easy. Sir, how can we understand right whether the list contains nodes or not? Simple, if no nodes in the list, root value will be null. So, here we are writing like this, if root value equals to null value, if root equals to null means what? No nodes in the list no nodes in the list. So, by that time root should pointing to a newly created node. So, what is that newly created node is a 4000 which is already inside the temporary variable. So, that 4000 we should place into the root then it start pointing to this node. So, simply temp value we are storing into root variable we are storing into root variable or else suppose if it is not the first node if it is not the first node already nodes are there now important thing is three connections important first one is see this is one connection and here two connections required because 4000 you need to store here and so that it is connected to this one and next one we are storing like this it is because it is a double linked listener two way connection is very very important. So, 1000 we should store here and next 4000 we should store here next uh, that 4000 you should store here also 4000 sir then how can we establish the connection sir three links sir which link first already we know right side links first left side link next sir why simple. Suppose, if you store 4000 directly into root variable, then it stop pointing, then it stop pointing, suppose like this. So, suddenly right here if you place a 4000 directly here, then root is stop pointing to this one, start pointing to this one, then you lost this complete data, that is the problem. So, that is why directly we cannot connect a left side connection. So, root is still pointing to this first node only. Next right side connections you have to establish first. Right side connections you have to establish first. Right side connections means 1000 you should store here. So, 1000 means who is holding 1000? Root. Root value we are storing into, we are storing into this one. This is the right location. Na? Who is pointing to this node? Temp, temp to right equals to temp to right, temp to right. Next, that is 1000 will be stored here, 1000. This is one way connection, is one way connection. Next, uh, here in this location, we need to store 4000. 4000 means what is a temp? Na? Yes, temp value, temp value. So, will be stored into which location? Which location here? In this location. Who is pointing to 1000? Is a root is pointing to 1000. Root to this location is a left or right? Left. So, root to left that will be stored into root to left. So, that here it is in this place we are storing 4000 then it is pointing to this one. So, two connections are over and next last connection a root is start pointing to this newly created node it should stop pointing to this one. Simply 4000 you should place here 4000 means what is a temp na? temp value we are placing into root, temp value we are placing into root that is. So, here it is 4000 
will be stored then it start pointing to this one. So, the node has connected in the beginning of the list. This is how to create the node at the beginning. Okay. So, now we will see how to find the length of the list right? and how to find, how to display right? all the elements of the list. Okay. See. So, now so we will see how to find the length of the double linked list and how to display all the elements in the double linked list. Okay. So, first I will draw the list here. First of all, root is pointing to the first node, we know that this is the first node. Suppose 1000, 1000 is pointing and this is a null data and next node link we are storing here some of the nodes we are writing 20 suppose 2000 2000 here is connection and next one previous node here 1000 next one one more node suppose 30 3000 here and next uh, previous node address 2000 here and this is a null so total three nodes only we are taking three nodes so parallelly we will see so, because almost logic to find the length and to print the data is the same. So, here void void function is a length function or if you want to write clearly return type you can write a int because how many nodes are there in the list it will return. This is to find the length and next parallelly we will see the logic of a display also display all the elements in the list and here it is the length. So, first we are declaring one temporary variable struct node star temp and initial value directly you can write a root also and here to find the length. So, we are declaring one variable count variable also count variable value 0 initially just count starts with a 0 only and here also in display also struct node star temp value starts with a root. Suppose here first we need to check how many nodes are there in the list, okay. but of course so no need to check if list is a empty also no need to print the message because directly we are returning the length value is a 0. Okay. So, directly we are checking, we are writing while temp not equals to null. So, what is the temp value? Temp value initially contains a root value. Na? Suppose here it is temp value initially root value 1000. So, it is not equals to null. So, here it is if root value is not equals to null, it is a 1000 nothing but already one node is there. So, if temp not equals to null, just increase the count value, count plus plus, the count value become 1. So, counting of first node is over. Now, we need to check second node is there or not, nothing but right side nodes are present or not, we need to check. Here, simply temp2 into the temp, we are storing temp to write value. If right node is there or not, we need to check. If it is there, that we are collecting into temp. So, what is the temp to write value? Is a 2000. So, 1000 become 2000. 2000. So, then 2000 not equals to null because it is a while loop. Na? As long as the condition is a true, it will repeat. So, second time 2000 not equals to null, the count value become 2. And again, temp to write value is a 3000 because 2000 to write is a 3000. Again, that is not equals to null. So, condition true come inside count value is a 3. And next, attempt to write value 3000 to write value is a null. 3000 to write value is a null. So, then here it is, it will be failed because now temp value is a null null value not equals to null value condition false it will fail. So, 
directly it will return the count value return count value sir suppose if no no elements in the list okay no problem suppose if no elements initially count value is a zero na that zero only it will return simple okay that is length and suppose just come to the display also same story right a temp value starts with a root only that is 1000 but instead of counting just print the node value finish same logic while temp not equals to null temp not equals to null here it is we are counting now if node is there instead of counting if node is present or not just print that one print f print f percentage d just like a linked list format arrow mark we are writing right we are writing temp to data temp to data we are printing why here it is a temp is pointing to initially 1000 1000 to data is a 10 na? so that is what we call displaying the information after displaying this one next we should send the control to right side nothing but to the next node here it is temp to write value will be stored into temp so like that it will execute but sir suppose if nodes are not there i want to print a message very clearly if nodes are not there in the list so then we need to display the message so sir what message we need to display right uh, that is a list is empty message i want to display sir then you can write this logic in a if else block okay suppose in a if block instead of writing this simply simply first we are checking if temp equals to null nothing but no nodes in the list directly printf list is empty list is empty simple or else if list is not empty then it will print so nothing but if nodes are not there right sir instead of printing the blank message i want to print some message so then you can go for if else or simply you can write a while loop also so like this while while temp not equals to null temp not equals to null just print the information of that node print that information nothing but temp to data or information any variable you declared and next one we should send the control to the next node nothing but to right side we should move temp to right value this is the simple logic so two logics almost same one will count and one will print okay so finally it is returning how many nodes are there in the list and here it is it will display all the elements in the list okay so this is all about uh, how to add an element in the beginning of the list how to find the length of the list how to display all the elements of the double linked list okay hope you enjoyed this video for more videos please log into narish it channel thank you